Stuff down. All right. So Chris tells me this this actually is Billionaires Row. So uh, Mar-a-Lago was originally owned by the Post family, as in Post cereal. The truth. That's correct. Marjorie Merriweather Post, back in the twenties, um, that was her home. Um, very famous architecture. Home and Trump eventually bought it. And now we're traveling down Billionaires Row, South Palm Beach, with a view of the ocean and the massive homes on the right. A lot of Spanish theme, Mediterranean, Mediterranean. almost Greek. <laughs> it's wild. Wow, and the boats are finally out because the control is over to some degree. So Florida is opening up once again. This is mobile. Oh, really? That's the... You can't say the name. Say... Yeah, it's an oil company family. Mobile Paris. oil family? So this would be one of the top 10 neighborhoods in the country? Yes. It's like Beverly Hills. And the Hamptons? Mm-hmm. Fast. Oh, it's okay. It's just. It's gonna open up in a, in a few minutes when we go past Trump. Um, you'll be able to see the house, but this is pretty hidden here because. Of Trump. Okay. So here's Mar a Lago again. It's hard to see the houses because this everything's behind a hedge. Still. It's gonna open up. Get a glimpse of. Where the hyper wealthy, the one tenth of one percent, have, I guess, winter, winter homes more than anything? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, some of them aren't all that big. No, these are much more beach houses. Oh, right. And no, you will not be seeing any megaliths in this video. <laughs> Just mega mansions. <laughs> mega, yeah, instead of, we shifted gears. Instead of megalithic sites, now it's mega mansion sites instead. Wow. Now we're going to be coming to stuff you can see on this side. This is Adam, Addison Meisner, which is that coral. Oh. Huh? It's very old. lot under construction. The top barreled roof and that house, that was Yoga Ona and John Lennon's house. Which this one? Is, this is the Woolworth house. Oh, Woolworths. Okay. I forget who this is, but this is John Lennon's old house. Ah, this is John Lennon and Yoko Ono's house. Look down the driveway. Because it connects. There's a bridge. Oh. Okay, hey, we're going down Worth Avenue. Can you explain what Worth Avenue is, please, Chris? Worth Avenue is an iconic street in the United States in Palm Beach, Florida, like Rodeo Drive. Um, this is where all the rich and famous live. 
The architecture is beautiful. You have all the high-end stores, Gucci, Cartier, Saks Fifth Avenue, um, real um, great galleries, art galleries. Um, people are here in season from November to approximately April. That's where all the women do their shopping. Um, we have Rod Stewart that lives here. Um, bon Jovi's building a house. Um, quite some interesting people in life. So we're coming down Worth Avenue, the real special part of the avenue. We have Ferengamo, you have Van Cleef and Arpels, jewelry stores, Kaufman, the Swiss. Um, this is where it all happened back in the day. It's still happening. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite quiet right now because everybody's kind of on lockdown, but we're safe in the car, taking a look. Um, a lot of security here because of the wealth. And um, just wanted to show Brian the area um, where everybody lives, where they shop. Okay, now we're coming up to Este Lauder's house, or Lauder's house. Very, again, all of the, most of these are really vintage looking things. It's all what I would call your basic mansion style. I guess the building codes here, you can't build anything too outrageous that doesn't fit a certain concept. Yeah, at least half of them are under construction or being repaired. This is where Michael Jordan got married. This is where Michael Jordan got married? Okay, so that's the Breakers Hotel. Privately owned mm -hmm. by the Flagler family. With its own police. <laughs> that's the steakhouse part of the property. Mm. We take a shuttle across. So got... oh, this is John Bon Jovi's house. house. It also is under. Well, maybe it now that... tear down and they reconstructed it. Oh, okay. So I guess because the so-called season is over, because mo most of these people live here in the winter time, <clears throat> then at this point, this is when they do repair work. Because having a warm ocean like this, that's salt water, it's going to be the salt and the sand would be simply eating away at the houses on a constant basis, 24 hours a day, because rust never sleeps. So the uh, maintenance would be a massive thing and an ongoing thing. Somebody's having a birthday party. So right up there is the inlet where the ships come out of, uh -huh. the Palm Beach, where all the container ships you go to the Bahamas or on their way um, to other ports. Mm -hmm. And is that a different neighborhood up there? That is North Palm Beach. North Palm Beach. So there's an inlet and a bridge, so that's another area. Uh -huh. So this house coming here is the old McDonald's house that was given to the secretary as the owner from McDonald's restaurants. Really? Yes. And it's completely being renovated now. McDonald's. See how it's like boring. It had so much color and it's beautiful. Uh -huh. so we're gonna go around the corner and then we'll come to Ethel's. 